My name's John Horn, and I'm here um, outside the Excel Centre where over the next week um, the UK government will be hosting an arms fair where uh, many companies that have sold weapons to Bahrain will be exhibiting and also the Bahrain government will be attending. Um, the Bahrain government has been invited to this arms fair that's held every two years, pretty much every time. In September 2011, when it was last held, uh, the Bahrain government had a, um, a tour of the arms fair by British Minister uh, Gerald Howarth. Um, in the week before this arms fair, uh, King Hamad has been in the UK. Um, he's had three meetings that we know about. He met with the British Defence Secretary in King Hamad's own private residence. The next day he met with Prince Andrew who often has worked for the UK trade and industry, uh, trade and investment department responsible for arms sales abroad. And then on Friday he met with Lord Astor who is the British Under Secretary of State for Defence. So there seems to be a lot of effort at the moment by the British government to lobby King Hamad to sell him more arms. We know that when King Hamad was in the UK two months ago in, in early August um, they talked about a possible deal of one billion pounds worth of Typhoon warplanes. Uh, it's 12 planes, um, part manufactured by British company BAE Systems. And the UK government is leading this. So the British government is looking to sell Bahrain, which can barely afford it, one billion pounds worth of planes, which it barely needs. So we see this kind of like growing close relationship between the British government and, and King Hamad. But we also see it with other members of the Bahrain royal family, such as King Hamad's son, Sheikh Nasser. Sheikh Nasser has got accusations of personal torture against him from 2011 and he's also accused of directing a campaign against uh, sports and athletes um, who took part in protests in 2011. Yet despite these gross and, and serious accusations of human rights violations, Sheikh Nasser has been allowed to come into the country, into the UK regularly. Last summer he came as head of the Olympic Committee. Um, but whilst he was also over, he um, had a meeting with um, a former police commissioner, John Yates, as well as uh, Conor Burns MP and others. Um, this year, the meetings have got even more serious. Um, Sheikh Nasser was invited to a counter-terror expo um, where arms were sold. Um, he also was invited to organise the um, Royal Windsor Horse Show, um, the Abba Bahrain event at the Royal Windsor Horse Show. Um, and because uh, Sheikh Nasser has got some small military role with the Royal Guard, we've also seen him take part in joint training with the uh, British military and meet with very senior British military people. And he was also the person that was chosen to open King Hamad Hall at Sandhurst Military Training Academy a few months ago. And King Hamad Hall was renamed um, from Mons Hall, which was commemorating a World War I battle, to King Hamad Hall because King Hamad gave Sandhurst £3 million. say the clear the space open. And just before you do, Hans, can I just say that uh, one, it's a real privilege for you to be here, an honour actually for you to open the hall. It wasn't through the generosity of His Majesty we wouldn't have this Carly Bassett this week. And I know from the endurance you've done, whether it be horses are running, and I've seen your bio, that you understand that. But if you don't have the physical and the mental robustness for the future, our cadets won't be able to operate on the operations where we expect. And I think, as you'll see now, we've now got a facility that's going to allow us to do that. So thank you very much, and I know they'll appreciate it. Thank you very much, and mostly welcome, and I hope this will bring good for the cadets and will benefit them for the future. Thank you. ونيابة عن حضرة صاحب الجلالة الملك حمد بن عيسى الخليفة عهل البلاد المفدى حفظه الله ورعاه افتتح سمو الشيخ ناصر بن حمد الخليفة قاعة الملك حمد بأكاديمية سانتيرس العسكرية الملكية حيث قدم لسموه شرح حول أهداف هذه القاعة التي سوف يستفيد منها الطلاب العسكريون الدارسون في الأكاديمية لاكتساب المزيد من التدريبات الرياضية واللياقة البدنية لصقل مواهب وقدرات الطلاب الدارسين كما شهد سموه مختلف أقسام قاعة الملك حمد وأتمنى للقائمين على هذه القاعة كل التوفيق والسداد بعد ذلك زار سموه صالة مونتجمري الرياضية وشاهد مجموعة من التدريبات والتطبيقات العسكرية قام بتأديتها الدارسون في الكلية بعد ذلك حضر سمو الشيخ ناصر بن حمد الخليفة مأدبة الغداء التي أقامها قائد أكاديمية سانت هيرس الملكية العسكرية تكريما لسموه بمناسبة زيارته للأكاديمية